Carolyn Doobie here and today I am playing in my vintage ledger where I've got some color on here from when I was jelly printing and cleaning off the brayer. So a random kind of start here as I'm using um, Thanks a Lotus, a stencil by Andrea Mattis Demang over at uh, Stencil Girl. And here is the hardest part for me, where to start. You'd think this was like launching the space shuttle as much thought and anxiety as I was having over it. But you know what? I'm just going to put it somewhere and start stenciling. I am using a cosmetic sponge and some Liquitex heavy bodied white paint. I wanted heavy bodied so it would really pop against that dark color. And now I'm just going to stencil this thing all around as carefully as I do anything. So what that means is not that carefully. Well, I had planned on doing one of these Lotus stencils, but after seeing that, I want to put more on here. So I am just going to start creating a pattern. If I was being really careful and um, precise, <laughs> I would have waited until things dried. But yeah, that's not me. And so I'm just going to kind of fill this in as making an entire pattern. Definitely not thinking a whole lot about this. Just kind of putting it in here to fill it in. I'm going to let it be what it's going to be, which is code for me not sweating about it too much. Well, what happens to me when I take this sort of don't think ahead attitude is every now and then I get myself into a little corner, <laughs> kind of like I'm running into here of <laughs> how am I going to get that other one in there without bumping into it the way I want it in my head. So I'm kind of moving it around to see where it might fit. And you know what? I'm just going to put it there and just not stencil every little part of the stencil. <laughs> that way the top parts fit the way I wanted and it'll work out just fine. You know what I did, but probably if I didn't tell you, you may not have even noticed how I worked around that. I tend to like more, especially when it comes to color. And I'm adding a little more color here with some yellow acrylic paint just around the edges. Well, as I look at the design that's on the stencil, I want to pull out those elements and really make them pop. So what I'm doing is taking the very, very exclusive tool, the back end of the paintbrush, right in the paint lid, and I am just going over the dots. And I consider this to be an amazing challenge for me because I am working very hard not to rest my arm in any of the wet paint, because I tend to do that when I'm not thinking. And <laughs> now I could wait, crazy thought here, I know, wait for the dots to dry. Nah, I'm not gonna wait for them to dry. I'm gonna take my chances. I'm gonna live dangerously here and I'm going to keep going even though the paint is wet. Yes, indeed. It's a fast-paced life I lead here. Okay, this is enough of watching me fill in little dots. I'm going to stop this part here because why should you have to watch it all? You've got the idea. Well, I want more color. So, I'm going to bring in some yellow acrylic paint and a liner brush, and I am just going to go over some of the lines to add a little more color. And rather than make you sit through and watch all of this as I go over all these different lines and turn my journal round and round so that I can get to it without getting my arm in the paint, because by golly, I am determined to live dangerously and make this while all the paint is still wet without smudging and smearing. Well, here's what it looks like with all the yellow on it. And of course, I needed more color, so what did I grab? Some green acrylic ink. Cool part is, is I didn't like part of it over there, so I can just wipe it off. Very handy. And now I want yet more color on these lotus flowers. So I'm going to use some of that green acrylic ink tracing over some of the different elements. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm really not that precise because you haven't figured that part out yet. Have you watching this or any of my other videos? So I'm kind of going over the lines. Some of the white's still peeking out. It's incredibly imperfect. And I love that that sort of goes with the handmade feeling of this even though I didn't hand draw all these flowers, I don't have that kind of patience. <laughs> well, here's what it looks like after all the green has been added to the flowers. And now I want even more color. Yes, I want more color. <laughs> so in comes that pink again, and I am going to live dangerously. I am going to push the envelope here because that green acrylic ink is nowhere near dry. And I'm coming right over some of the same areas with that pink and a liner brush. If I'm not careful, I'm going to get some yucky, nasty mud, but I'm going to take that chance. I am going to live dangerously and not wait for anything to dry as I do this. 
Well, here's the page after it's dried. Notice there are no big hand smears there. I feel that I've really accomplished something here. And while I was enjoying that victory, I noticed what looked like to be sort of this gaping hole where there isn't any of the stencil on that dark blue. And I realized, wow, I wish I'd put one there, but decided it was meant to be. So I let it go and then I went and looked for a quote. And the quote that I found was absolutely perfect for this page. The quote says, when the heart is open, the lotus blossoms where there appeared to be no lotus. Well, I love that quote by itself, but then to have it go on an art journal page where I had this gap or this place where there was no lotus, I'm like, okay, this was just meant to be. So the anonymous person that came up with this quote and my muse were absolutely conspiring together. And once I get all these little words glued down there, then I'm gonna bring in a Posca paint pen because it's very opaque. And I'm just gonna add some scribble journaling well, thanks for stopping by and joining me for some art journal play today. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you subscribed to my YouTube channel. And if you have some friends that you think would enjoy this video, I'd love it if you'd share it with them. Every time people share and subscribe, it fuels my muse, inspires her to come and inspire me to make more videos for you. And if you want to find out more of what I'm up to, you can find me over on my blog at acolorfuljourney.com. Thank you for being a part of this colorful journey.